GWM News! Today is going to be an amazing battle, as we shall see the debut of the new GWN superstar, Electric Dragon! His origins are unknown, but is said to be the latest and greatest Canadian wrestler with speed that more than makes up for having less strength than most of the big wrestlers in the league. Will he serve as a formidable foe to the NJPW? Looks like it scared them enough to bring out the big guns, and the GWM has full confidence on their new player. Tune in at 3 p.m. to find out who will reign supreme in this exciting match at the Max Dome on GWM. Sponsored by Small Town by Justin Kennan. Available on Amazon on paperback and Kindle. Adam, Matt, you all set up? Yeah, I think so, but seriously, Kelly, out of all things... Why are you bringing me into wrestling? Because it'll be good for your image, and it'll keep you in shape, and it's a lot less painful than the frustrating and annoying YouTube demonetization system. Yeah, well that's certainly true, but I mean, really, do you think this is wrestling material? Don't worry about it, okay? As long as we follow the anime protagonist's steps, we should be able to do anything. The anime protagonist what?! You don't know? It's the easiest way to make you a champion. It works for hobbies for kids, card games, sports, uh, even ice skating. Now, to looking into the steps, we already wrote you a backstory to either avenge or help a father figure in your life. We went with avenging, way more dramatic. And uh, we practiced your signature pose. Now we just need to find you a love interest and some mysterious femme fatale woman with really big boobs. Uh, question. Can the love interest and the mysterious big boob girl be the same person? It'll save us time if we look for one person instead of two. Absolutely not. Oh, and one more thing. We have to whack your chest. There's no such thing as an anime protagonist with that amount of chest hair. What? Hell no! It's enough that you're making me freaking wrestle! Now you want to mutilate my body?! Come on! It's for your own good! We're not in the disco age anymore! No! No matter what! I don't care! You're not gonna do this to me! Listen, Animat, you knew this was gonna happen when you signed up no, for this. No, I read the contract! It's gonna be healthier, it's care. gonna be softer, no. for one. And also, I mean, no, isn't, isn't I don't it care. annoying Regardless. for you? No! Come on, you knew no. that something! I was gonna ask you something no. like this. You want to do this, don't you? No! Okay! Okay, fine. I'll see if the Fen Fatale can be your love interest, then will you wax? Hmm... I think I'll be willing. But then again, I think it would be best if we let her decide. Yeah, yeah. We'll see about that. Oh, since we have time before the match, have you done your homework about the wrestling anime? Homework? Oh, uh, you mean the uh, tiger mask thing? Yeah, I looked into it. Apparently it started out as this manga for Boruka Magazine and Weekly Shonen Jump from 1968 to uh, 1971. If I can remember correctly, the story is about this wrestler who always wears this head of a tiger for his costume and doesn't want to be a villain anymore and wants to be like the protector of kids and stuff. So from there, he would fight against the members and assassins of his old organization he worked with called Tiger's Den. From the looks of it, it seemed quite enough to really become its own thing. I saw it had an anime in 1969, a sequel series in the early 80s, both by Toei Animation, a big anime studio by the way, a couple of movies in 1970, and a live action film in Japan in 2013. Oh, but one really cool thing I saw about Tiger Mask himself was that he did appear in a lot of Japanese fighting games and some gaming characters are actually based on him. Like, uh, what was there? There's a uh, King from Tekken, uh, Macho Nyan from Yokai Watch. Oh, and uh, yeah, there is also Incineroar from Pokemon Sun and Moon. That I thought it was awesome. Okay, cool, but we don't have time to look at all of those. What about the one I asked you to check out? That's honestly a pretty weird one when it came to how it got made. In 2016, a company called New Japan Pro Wrestling teamed up with Tohei in order to make a, a revival series of Tiger Mask. Well, okay, it's not like a remake or anything, it's more like a modern sequel to the manga and the first anime. From what I saw, it's about this guy in the modern age, like now, named Naoto Azuma, 
and he trains to become the new Tiger Mask in order to take down this one big wrestler named Yellow Devil. Or, like they say in every episode, Yellow Devil! Yellow Devil! Yellow Devil! Yellow Devil! So he could avenge this one guy that he looked up to like his dad or something who was a wrestler, but one fight with the devil and his career was immediately kaput. But one thing I gotta say about New Japan bringing Tiger Mask back is that I could easily tell that they want to lure anime fans to see their wrestling league. Like the NJPW are prominently featured there and shown as like the good team that's doing it for the love and integrity of wrestling. They even got a lot of their big name stars in the show. Well, maybe you don't know him, but they got Hiroshi Takahashi, Kazuchika Okada, Yuji Nagata, uh, Tetsuya Naito, and more. Are they voiced by those wrestlers? Well, no. The only ones that did do their own voices are Togi Makabe and Kota Ibushi. But it's so weird seeing real wrestlers in an anime like this. I think this is legit the Japanese equivalent of one of those WWE anime movies where they cross over with the Hanna-Barbera characters. Oh yeah, didn't you do that review about the surfing penguins? Yes, yes, I reviewed Surf's Up 2, and believe me, it wasn't a fun experience. Sure, but at least this one's gonna be a massive improvement from that one, right? Well, not exactly. Well, I mean, sure, it's not as ridiculously stupid as those films, but I don't think the quality of the writing did it any favors. At least in the main narrative, it's easily predictable since the goal is simple. I'm sure you know other animes, and the big goal in there is something vague that seems near impossible to achieve, like be the ultimate master or something like that, you know? But in this show, all Tiger Mask wants is to beat this big wrestler that messed up a guy he looked up to. Sure, it's got a few twists to spice things up, but they made them to lengthen the story, like to delay the inevitable. Admittedly, sure, it's not the worst story, and how they told it isn't anything terrible either. I just can't help but feel like it's lazy. Well, not just a lazy story, but more lazy writing in general. Maybe they did that to focus on the wrestling, and yeah, I, I get that, but it's just in a filmmaking aspect, there's not a lot to offer. But then you would look at the characters, and oh boy, I mean, in concept, they gotta be the most cookie cutter cast I've ever seen. Like, you know, the type of characters you always see in shows like this. Now, I'll give them that it's nice how they connect with the original 1968 story by having characters from there appear in here and be played by their old voice actors even. Like, uh, who's in there? Oh, like, uh, Kentaro Takaoka and, uh, Mr. X. But with the new guys, wait, hold on, let me just remember what they got. Oh, yes, there's, uh, the good-hearted hero, the small comic relief, the big villain in the shadows, the femme fatale, uh, the love interest, uh, the, the cool strong helper, the evil brains behind the bad guys, uh, the big goofy guy, and I mean seriously, you could replace all these guys with the cast of Sonic the Hedgehog and it wouldn't make a difference. Oh, and I almost forgot, they even have their own Shadow the Hedgehog with the same black and red color scheme. I, I mean, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, which reminds me, I've got great news. We actually found somebody that looks exactly like you, and agreed to play Storm Dragon. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Storm Dragon? What do you mean by Storm Dragon? Nobody told you? <laughs> He's gonna look just like you. He's gonna be angrier, edgier, and more pessimistic about the world. I work for the bad guys, but despite my dark nature, my intentions make me good. He's gonna be a fan favorite for sure. Um, what was I talking about? I think something about the wrestlers. Oh, yeah, which actually reminds me. I think I just told you this, but it's a little too obvious how this was made with the help of the NJPW. Well, not because how they got their wrestlers in there, but more by how they represent themselves. I mean, in the show, the big bad guys are the GWM and Tiger's Den but the NJPW are shown as this underdog team that are doing it for the passion and like the sport and make sure that the bad guys don't have a monopoly in the whole thing. You know, they're pretty much like the resistance fighting for love. Oh, uh, which reminds me, why are we working for GWM again? Isn't it a little bit counterintuitive with the whole protagonist thing? Not really, they're gonna change their act a bit so that they can have a good guy on their team. And it's good pay. 
and they help us get people that we need, like Storm! I know it's wrong for me to work with your enemies, but I'm doing it to save you and to help you get your strength back to fight again! Uh, anyways... Uh, oh, right! It's just that it's pretty clear how the anime really wants people to root for the NJPW and see them as this small, independent team that mainly cares about, like, the sport and the fans that enjoy it. But I mean, I guess all they want to do is just humble brag if they want to show that off by having enough money to make an entire anime with them and their star wrestlers to show how small and simple they are. Tranquilo, Okay, I get that. But what about the actual wrestling in the show? That's the point of watching it, right? Well, that is a good point, and yeah, this is a show where it's not about the story or looking into the complexity of the characters and stuff like that. This is all about two overly buffed up anime dudes wrestling each other, and at least it does deliver that. This is where the animation has to be the star of the series and do its best to take over. And for the most part, it does look solid with a lot of good work. It got a lot of good design on the characters, including the real wrestlers who are represented very well. Uh, some of the backgrounds are nice and the stadium looks immersive. And I'll give it that there's a nice amount of creativity with the character animation where the characters fight each other and using their killer moves, uh, the design on their costumes, and even some of the rings that they fight on are unique. It gives out the fun aspect, like actually watching a more extraordinary wrestling match. I wouldn't say that the animation is perfect here though, I, I can actually see a lot of issues with the line work where it looks messy and rough. Like the drawings themselves aren't fully clean and the animators didn't have time to polish the lines to make them feel like smooth, you know? So I wouldn't say that the animation is good, but not entirely great. Okay. But from how you were saying it before, it doesn't sound like you enjoyed it all that much. Is it going to be one of those things you give the seal of garbage to? Well, here's the thing though. As bad as some of the things are, there's a part of me that's keeping me away from actually saying that it's bad. Here's the thing. This is not a good anime at all. Not only is the writing really lazy, but also the tone can go all over the place and make it hard to take it seriously, where it can range from overly dramatic to becoming an entire Looney Tunes cartoon. Uh, Plus, when adding in the shameless marketing of the NJPW and even Happy Feet 2 at one point, it, it all just feels like a, a dumb anime that's taking wrestling way too seriously, like it's some kind of matter of life and death. And yet, the more I think about it, the more that it reminds me of animes that I really love or used to watch as a kid, like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. In a way, they share a very similar format. They can often take themselves very seriously and make life-threatening battles with something ridiculous like a training card game or having creatures fight each other. I mean, sure, they don't have good writing either and some of the things there don't even make sense, but they are highly engaging with the stuff that people want to see. And honestly, that's how I see Tiger Mask W. It's like one of those animes that just wants to deliver some good action and have fun with it, which in this case is wrestling, of course. Uh, sure, the writing kind of sucks with a weak story and a cast of one-dimensional characters that's meant to promote a Japanese wrestling federation, but at least with well-crafted animation, it does its job to deliver what fans would want from a wrestling-themed anime. Like, if I would meet someone who loves watching stuff like uh, WWE or Ring of Honor, I would recommend them to check it out. But for everyone else, I don't think they would be in a hurry to see this or even care to watch it. Maybe anime fans if they're curious, I mean, it is a relatively short anime with just 38 episodes and uh, yeah, that's it. But that's the furthest that I could think of for who would this be best for. You're on a good roll with this. What would you give it? Like a score? Well, honestly, I don't normally do this, but I would give this one two ratings. For wrestling fans, this would be like a solid 8 out of 10, but for everyone else, they, I think they just walk away with a 6. 
Not, not the best anime, but it does have an audience, and yeah, I do respect that. So yeah, it's basically an anime for wrestling fans. I mean, if it weren't for us actually doing, well, this, would you want to go and watch Tiger Mask W after I told you about it? Honestly, I would forget immediately after you finish telling me about it. Exactly! Well, enough talk about anime. It looks like the show's about to start in a minute. You gotta get ready, anime. Ooh, um... Oh, and one more thing. Keep your head in the game. And I just got a text saying that we might have found you a girl. <laughs> In the blue corner, weighing 175 pounds from GWM, Electric Dragon! <laughs> the dragon may be mighty, but is it powerful compared to the tiger? Wait, what? In the red corner, weighing 224 pounds from NJPW, Tiger Mask W! Wait, Tiger Mask is real? The steps didn't mention anything about this. Dragon is quick on his feet to give him the slip. But wait, Tiger just grabbed him by the chest hair! My heart is full of pain, but not as much pain as that! Well, on the bright side, I have one problem solved. 